Hi, my name is Frances Nadlin, and today we're going to be using the Bunsen burner. My TA's names are Ying and Bananas, and the safety precautions for this lab are never ever leave a flame unattended. If the flame does burn out, turn off the gas immediately, and make sure there are no flammable things in your area. Check the beaker to make sure there are no defects, and don't touch the metal ring stand unless you're sure that the air around it is cool. So the objects are the first metal ring stand and the second metal ring stand, or the first metal ring and the second metal ring, the Bunsen burner, the striker, which produces a spark, the rubber hose, the ring stand, and the wire gauze and, beer, er, and beaker tongs. So first we're going to place the first metal ring about three centimeters above the Bunsen burner and secure it to the ring stand. Next, we're going to place the wire gauze on top and attach the second metal ring so that it's about two-thirds the height of the beaker and secure it to the ring stand. Like that. Next, we're going to attach the rubber hose to the gas supply and to the Bunsen burner and make sure there are no leaks. And so we're going to make sure that the striker produces a spark, which it does, and open up the gas supply valve just a little bit. Turn on the gas and light the thing. We want to adjust the air intake valve so that there is a light blue cone right here and the flame hits the bottom of the beaker like this. Once we're done heating the substance, we remove the Bunsen burner from underneath and turn off the gas supply valve. And using the beaker tongs because the area is hot, pick up the beaker. And we can disassemble the Bunsen burner. Thank you very much.